We've all seen it. Maybe it's a group of customers following the loudest and most opinionated member of the customer board. Or perhaps it's your team following that unofficial leader as they all dig in to resist the latest change that you're trying to introduce into the process or into the organization. You know, have you ever wondered why we humans so easily follow the herd? I mean, it's one of our leadership issues and challenges. How do we get the whole herd to move in the direction we need them to go? Well, the thing is, our unconscious minds are actually wired to follow the herd. That's right. It comes from back in cavemen time when, of course, there was safety for cavemen in a group. And the caveman that decided to go off and be the Lone Ranger, well, he was setting himself up to be the appetizer for the woolly mammoth or the saber-toothed tiger or whatever other danger was out there. So our unconscious mind were wired with a program that drives us back to the herd. And here's how it works. When we agree with a group, we get a chemical response, a set of cocktails that are the equivalent of pleasure. We bliss out. On the other hand, when we try to move away from a group, try to leave and have our own opinion, our unconscious mind send out a threat chemical. That's right, it drives us, run, 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 back to the herd, back to the group. That's right, it is stimulus response and chemicals in our brain. Now, does that mean we're victims of these chemicals? <laughs> Absolutely not. Because influential leaders can learn and understand how to bypass those chemical responses, how to reroute the way we react in ourselves, our teams, our groups, our families, and pretty much any group of humans on the planet. We can learn how to recognize the triggers before they happen and how to shift the chemical responses so that they actually lead our teams to, to be more excited to follow an individual path, to step into innovation, to be able to step away from the herd and think differently. The power to do that is all in the technology of our minds. And that's why neuroscience is so important to leaders. We can all be influential leaders. We can learn how to use the technology of our minds to create excellence.